Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a so-called living chess played between the third world chess champion Jose Raul Capablanca and American chess player Hermann Steiner. I have to tell you that living chess or live chess is a form of chess in which people take the place of pieces. This photo is taken during that encounter and as you can see trained actors are staging this show. Uh, also, if we take a closer look, we can see Capablanca and Steiner seated in front of chessboards. Uh, but what is interesting, a decade later, Steiner reported that the game had been prearranged as Capablanca refused to play any other way. Back to our main board, and now let's take a look how this prearranged game went on. Uh, the game was played in 1933 in Los Angeles. Capablanca opened up with e4, to which Steiner responded with e5. Knight f3, knight c6, knight c3, knight f6. Four knights game is on the board, and we have the Spanish variation bishop b5. Black concert with bishop b4, uh, double Spanish is on the board, and there it goes, both players castled kingside. d3, d6. Up to this point, we have a perfect symmetry, but after bishop g5, black captured on c3. B takes c3, knight e7. Uh, Blake is inviting bishop takes f6, and then later can cover his uh, king by playing knight g6 and go for f5 advance. But instead of going for bishop takes f6, Capablanca played knight h4, preparing f4 advance. Uh, I have to tell you that instead of playing knight e7, in here queen e7 is considered to be the main move with which Black is freeing the d8 square and then is bringing the knight on e6. But instead to uh, b take c3, Black answered with knight e7, knight h4 by Capablanca, c6, bishop c4, bishop e6. This is already a mistake, after which Black is facing serious problems. At this point it was better to play d5 if bishop b3 then queen d6. All in all, we have an equality on the board. But instead, in our game, to bishop c4, black answered with bishop e6. <laughs> okay, this was a prearranged game, right? I'm analyzing this as if this is a serious encounter. But anyways, let's take a look what happened. The problem with bishop e6 is that this is allowing white to expose black's king side. And there comes queen g4 check, king f7, f4. Black's king side looks vulnerable, and by uh, opening up the a file, white wants to harass black king further. Uh, what is interesting, this position Capablanca had in 1911 during a simultaneous exhibition. In that game, his opponent was Miguel Angel Gelli, and quite possibly he had some very nice analysis in here, and that was the reason of choosing this line. In that game, black's answer was knight g6. Capablanca finally managed to uh, win that game, but in this game we see rook g8, which is even worse. Queen h5 check followed, king g7, f takes e5, d takes e5, and as we have reached the critical position, you can pause the video and try to find white's next move. Ready? A move which just asks itself to be played is rook takes f6, I'm sure you found it. King takes f6, rook f1 check, Knight f5. Well, if uh, king g7, then you will get checkmate hit on the spot. There it goes. Black king is getting checkmate hit. Now let's go back in our game to rook f1 check. Black answered with knight f5. And we have knight takes f5, although e takes f5 is also playable. And according to Stockfish, it's even stronger. But anyways, let's not deviate from the main game. e takes f5. And there comes rook takes f5 check, king e7, queen f7 check, king d6, rook f6 check, king c5, queen takes b7. We have a direct mating threat. Here black played queen b6, and looks like that covered the c6 square, but that's not true. And in here we have another rook sacrifice, rook takes c6 check. Now if you play a move like king b5, this is a check, right? <laughs> then you can simply lose your queen. And black captured on c6. And we have a check made on the board. 
Yeah, very, very impressive checkmate. After sacrificing both rooks, finally the single queen is managing to kill the enemy king. Despite being a pre-arranged game, all in all, the game I find very impressive. And in the end, the chess puzzle for you where the task is to find the winning line for black. It's black to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video, take care.